You have ungently, Brutus, stole from my bed. And just tonight at supper, you suddenly arose and walked about, musing and sighing with your arms across. And when I asked you what the matter was, you stared upon me with ungentle looks. I urged you further, then you scratched your head and too impatiently stamped with your foot. Yet I insisted. Yet you answered not, but with an angry watcher of your hand. Gave a sign for me to leave you, so I did, fearing to strengthen that impatience which seemed too much and kindled and hoping it was, but with all an effect of humor which sometime hath his moment with every man. It will not let you eat, nor talk, nor sleep. And could it work so much upon your shape as it, as it hath much prevailed on your condition? I should not know you, Brutus. Dear my lord, make me acquainted with your cause of grief. Brutus is wise, and were he not in health, he would embrace the means to come by it. <laughs> is Brutus sick, and is it physical to walk unbraced and suck up the dank humors of the morning? What? Is Brutus sick, and will he steal out of his wholesome bed to dare the vile contagions of the night and dare tempt the roomy and unpurged air to add Unto his sickness, no, my Brutus, you have some sick offense within your mind, which by the right and virtue of my place I ought to know. And upon my knees I charm you by my once commended beauty, by all your vows of love, and that great vow which did incorporate and make us one, that you unfold yourself, your half. Why you are heavy. And what men tonight have had resort to you for? There have been some six or seven who, who, who hid their faces even from darkness. I should not need to kneel if you were gentle, Brutus. Tell me, Brutus, within the bond of marriage, is it accepted I should know no secrets that appertain to you? Am I yourself, but as it were in sort or limitation, to keep with you at meals? Make your bed better and talk to you sometimes? Dwell I but in the suburbs of your good pleasure. If it be no more, Portia is Brutus harlot, not his wife. I grant I am a woman, but with all a woman that Lord Brutus took to wife. I grant I am a woman, but a woman well reputed, Cato's daughter. Think you I am no stronger than my sex, being so husbanded and so fathered? Tell me your counsels. I will not disclose. 